Hey everyone, the name's Eric Dorr, and in today's video I want to talk to you about INTPs and the misconception from society that INTPs are lazy. True it is, this misconception exists not just against INTPs, but against, but against all philosopher types, all intuitive introverts, the INFJs, the INTJs, and the INFPs. It's a stereotype that often comes from our parents and from school and from society because often the INTP is a head in the clouds type. It's a type that spends a lot of time in active contemplation about the world and about the secret truths behind the world. Uh, INTPs spend a lot of time wondering about how the world works and uh, about its secret laws and often INTPs and uh, are highly logical types in the sense that they seek to make sense of the world inside their own heads. They don't trust what anyone else says. They need to find out the answer on their own. Which is often uh, the contrary to what school expects. School expects you to uh, simply swallow truth given to them, spoon fed by them, and to take it just as it is. But you, uh, as an INTP, that's not gonna be enough for you. It's not gonna be what you want. Uh, so, INTPs will always struggle with that, being paying attention, listening to other people, taking in their information and showing that they are listening. Often, uh, they prefer to just tune out and try to find out for their own what is right and wrong. INTPs are people that tend to have this uh, grasp of reality, their own grasp of what reality is and what it's supposed to be. INTPs have often visions and ideas and uh, theories about everything. Theories about how the world works, theories about the right answer in maths or the secret sciences behind the universe, physics, the natural sciences. INTPs are often, uh, as advisor types, as introverted perceivers, uh, blamed for not being executives. It's like there is this perceiver guilt in society, just as there is an introvert guilt in society. Uh, because people expect you to be this active, fast-paced, fast-moving type, always doing something, always engaging others, always being out there. People expect us to always be moving things, controlling things, setting goals and following goals, creating systems, organizing systems, and setting up big institutions for things. But often, the INTP, on the contrary, is an advisor type, a type that prefers to study systems, study how the world works, study how it operates, study its laws, its rules. INTPs prefer to be the people looking at all of the existing systems, determining if they are working as they should. INTPs lack that inner drive of wanting to create their own business, of wanting to create their own company, of creating their own institution or their own apps. Usually INTPs prefer to be the people that look at apps that already exist, solutions that are out there, judging their ability, their accuracy, their effic efficiency. INTPs are great for showing when something isn't working the way it's supposed to, for showing when people are believing in ridiculous, irrational things, for showing when the system isn't working as it should. INTPs don't have this grasp, this strong grasp of what is good and what is bad from a production standpoint, what we should produce, what we should create, what value society should seek to create. INTPs are better at when they know what uh, society values, when they, they know what the system values, what is successful, what is good, what is valuable. For example, gold or uh, <laughs> fast or speed or something similar. Uh, INTPs need to have a clear definition of what is good in society. And then they can use their skills to analyze if we are actually reaching what is good, if we are actually following these standards, if we are actually using the right rules, the right standards, the right tools to do what we need to do. INTPs are great for optimizing things that could go and work better. They come up with things uh, to make their work more efficient, ways to get more work done in less time, ways to do things in ways that uh, take less energy. And often uh, in society, it's more the case that we pay people based on how long they sit in their chairs, 
rather than how much they do or how fast they work or how efficient they are. People expect that if you come up with a solution that gets your work down, uh, done twice as fast as everyone else, you should work twice as much as everyone else. People expect that if you are coming up with a high quality product better than anyone else, that you should also make more products than anyone else. And that's simply unreasonable. The standards in society are unreasonable. And uh, INTPs are getting too much blame for this. They are seriously being uh, undervalued for what they contribute to the world. And workplaces and schools need to take into account this process. First, we often expect of our employers to give us, uh, of our employees to give us immediate results to perform at maximum efficiency as soon as the work happens and to always look busy and to always look like they have got something going on. But the INTP is the direct opposite of this. It's, the INTP is the person that uh, seems to do the least but does the most. Seems to do the least but does the most in the sense that they might look like nothing is happening but a lot is happening inside their own heads. A lot of thought is going on, a lot of reasoning is going on, and a lot of amazing things are happening. And uh, INTPs are, in many ways, judged for not being able to explain what is happening, not being able to go through this process with other people, to share it with other people as it is happening. And this is a problem for all intuitive introverts, being able to share and describe your process as is it going on. It's hard for uh, you to demonstrate immediate value and quick value from what you do. You might need more time to actually deliver. You might need a year to actually come up with a good solution. Of course, it's the turtle versus the rabbit all over. The rabbit might start off quicker, but the turtle is sitting there by the start line developing rocket shoes so that they can finish the race before the rabbit. And then if we are all working in terms of short-term projects, if our workplace says, okay, you have one week to do it, and then one week to do the next one, and then one week to do the next project, there is, um, low, uh, there is going to be low chances for an INTP to be in there, to be in the game, to be in the race. The lucky thing INTPs do have going for them is that they are perceiver types. And as a perceiver, you are better with immediate adaptation. So if there is the case that something needs to, if you need to be flexible to what's going on, INTPs are usually present types. They are more focused on short term optimization and long term planning. It's generally that you don't go to the INTP looking for a strategy for, the long, uh, for a long-term game, but you go to an INTP when you have a strategy and when you know what you want and when you need someone to look at this strategy and to see the flaws, to see how it will work and how it can be used in the moment. INTPs are in many ways described as brilliant but lazy, but when you look at laziness, you have to realize your perception of lazy is also biased. It's uh, time that we get rid of the idea that you have to be active, to look busy, to be busy. Through this, you can look busy, but you don't have to be busy because you look busy. You can seem like you have a lot going on. You can have 10 tabs up on the internet. You can have so many lists doing. You can talk about how good you are at multitasking. But a lot of the time, multitasking isn't that good. A lot of the time, people who multitask are performing worse at, worse at each, each individual task. People who seem more busy don't always become, uh, produce more. Uh, people who seem to always have structure don't always uh, produce a lot of results, even if they have strong goals and even if they show high ambitions. INTPs are not going to pretend to have bigger ambitions than others, and INTPs are not going to exaggerate how much they are going to be able to do. INTPs are not going to set unrealistic goals for how much they attempt to achieve in the future. INTPs won't blind you with these big numbers of uh, what they will complete in one year, because INTPs don't really know the end results of what they are doing. And with creativity, the route there is always a little irregular. 
uh, the route to re insight often takes a long uh, walk down a lot of corridors inside your own mind. As an INTP type, you have to go and dig deeply into yourself. And a lot of the time you can feel like you're not doing anything. You can feel like uh, you, need, you should be doing more and that you should be thinking faster. But you can't rush this process. You can't rush being a philosopher. Socrates didn't tell, whip himself telling him to think faster, to come up with smarter solutions. Uh, it's an eye how it works. It's uh, the case of long-term, slow and steady reasoning and often it will look like nothing is happening but a lot is happening and your mind is rolling and spinning and you can feel that. Uh, you can feel um, how hot your brain gets sometimes when you are really thinking about something even if it seems like uh, you have a difficulty explaining it to other people. What you need to do is you need to show your employer, you need to show your teacher and your parent uh, this process. You'll have to help them through it. You have to show them your past results, what you've done with it in the past. And you have to show them that you need time and you have to show them that you're, a good, uh, that you're going to do a lot and that uh, they can trust you. Uh, but that they will have to follow you through in this process. And you will uh, preferably want to seek an environment that promote these approaches rather than environments that try to rush you or speed up this process because that's going to be a company that isn't secure or stable or reliable. There's going to be people that are fickle and too uh, quick moving for your uh, optimal performance. You're also going to want people around you that can, perform, uh, that can give you clear definitions of what they want. You want people that can set up strong rules, strong systems uh, so that you can actually actively know what uh, people want. A lot of the time people don't know what they want and then it's hard for an INTP to deal with that. If, an, if there is no clear standard, then it's hard for an INTP to give you an idea of what you should be doing. Uh, often uh, you don't need to, as an INTP, come up with long-term goals. You don't need to uh, be a, or fake being an executive. You don't need to change who you are. You just have to find an environment that incorporates, that uh, encourages who you are. I hope you can do that and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, share or subscribe and as always, may your neurons be with you.